Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Lewis with Newt the Fridge. I'm here with, with Stephanie. How you doing? The new star of Fatima. Hi. 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 Thanks for spending the time here. It's really early here in Los Angeles, but I was really excited to uh, speak to you today. Uh, I'm just wondering a few questions about the film. Did you know about this story uh, before getting into it? Yes, of course. I previously heard about it when I was little, but my grandma knew it like every single thing about it. So when I got the casting, she was really excited for me too. And I started reading it, rereading it, of course, and, you know, seeing step by step what happened and getting to understand it better. And when I got called for the film, I went straight to Marco. So he would tell me a bit, you know, about how he wanted to make it and from what point of view he wanted to do it. And he told me that he was going to do a present Lucia and then uh, flashbacks of the story. So, mm -hmm. Oh, well, so that, that brings me to one of my questions. I have a few questions here is how did you uh, get the character down? Because there's not many, there's only a few pictures of her, of Lucia, uh, but video, I don't even think there's any. How do you guys come up with the personality of, of Lucia? Honestly, I just t what I talked with Marco about it and how, you know, he wanted to make her, obviously Lucia is a very strong, brave character and really courageous. Mm -hmm. Also, so um, mainly what mostly helped me to give you know Lucia uh, her, li her little spark and her was probably the costumes and you know her makeup and being in the set you know of 1917 surrounded by things that aren't from 2020 you know old, older uh, items and you know wallpapers and it was all really fantastic. So. How'd you get back into uh, 2017? Uh, can you talk a little bit about maybe the sets and the costumes? How, were, how was that? It was awesome, really. When I started, I did the costume rehearsal so that they put lots of uh, versions of Lucy. I've seen after scene, and I was so excited because I got to see how they dressed back then, you know? And it was layer after layer, underskirt, uh, <laughs> overskirt, there was so many layers. And they also put, you know, a little bit of fluff in me to make it, to make Lucy, of course, you know, tougher and, you know, bigger in that way. So it made me also adapt to the character better. And I just enjoyed that process a lot. What, what kind of locations were you in? Um, was this filmed like in Europe somewhere? It looked beautiful. It, it was filmed in Portugal, actually. It was in, there were different locations. It was Lisbon, Tapa de Mafra, Tomar, and Citadel, a lot of different places. And it was honestly great because the views were amazing and the food was great too. So. <laughs> it's always good to have food. Uh, is it, is it uh, areas you were familiar with? Uh, so was it, was it difficult getting into uh, being away from home? Uh, Cause I know you, you're, uh, is it the places you were familiar with, the locations? I have never been to Portugal before. Obviously, I went there for rehearsals, but before I had never been there, and it was actually really cool getting to be there. And I kept in contact with my family, and I told them everything. And What did you – because, I mean, um, you're, you're starting off your career, obviously. You've been in – a Terminator um, and stuff like that. I've seen some, some stuff. You have great energy. Did you learn anything on the set? Uh, because obviously this is more like practical and, and effect more on location. Like you said, costuming dependent. What did you learn from this film as a young actress? Mostly what I learned was the first main thing was how they lived back then, how everything was. And obviously the story, I learned the story to a point where, you know, step by step, scene after scene, I got to, you know, be Lucia and see how everything went down. Mm -hmm. And I learned so many things from my cast mates and from the crew and everyone around me gave me lots of good tips. And it was really a learning experience, you know, apart from having fun, which I had so much fun. It was also a learning process for me. That's awesome. Is it something you keep in touch with your, with your cast? Did you make friends on there that someone maybe lifelong friends for the future? So at first, uh, my younger cousins, Alejandra Howard and Jorge Lomelis, I, we instantly connected. We felt like family. You know, every day we went to set, we were so happy. We danced. When we were getting changed, we were listening to music, you know, because obviously it, it took quite a while to put all the layers of clothing on. So we just listened to music while we were getting dressed through everything. And I still, I'm still in contact with everyone. And Lucia Moniz, my mom, she's amazing and brilliant actress too. So. Uh, you don't have to get into detail, but did you grow up religious? Cause this is a religious film, obviously. I feel 
like those matters are quite personal, but it yeah. definitely woke up the spirit in me and the courageous side of Lucia. And what I learned from Lucia was how to be more brave, you know, and just face your fear straight on and be more optimistic about life in general. And I learned that yeah. from Lucia. I find that it's really special how she was so connected to Faith in the movie, and I got to, you know, play that a role of her grabbing onto the last bit of Faith that she had. That's what kept her going, you know, her yeah. Faith in general. That's, that, that's awesome. Uh, did, did, you, did, you send, did you get a sense of uh, huge responsibility? Because I remember this story as a kid. I grew up Catholic, you know, a Latin kid. <laughs> But uh, I remember like vaguely uh, reading about this and then kind of being fascinated. But then stuff that's religious is big. Did you get a sense of pressure, like yeah. being like the main star here of such an iconic uh, personality in history? I remember that my first day filming was actually the first scene in the movie opening scene. So I was really nervous and excited at the same time <laughs> to carry out, you know, the first in the movie. So, yes, of course, it's been the most important role that I've had so far on a movie well, I, I had to go there every day except like four or five days i don't remember well but i had to be there and what it was just so fun to be around the same people you know i see all those familiar faces when i went into set and you know it was safe and warm environment when we were filming have you been able to screen the film with the with the people like maybe yeah. friends or anything and what are they saying about it before, well, with the cast, before Corona happened, we visited and we saw it, like, 2019. But now, I, I haven't been able to get my friends here, but my family, um, mm -hmm. they came here a while ago, and we saw the first version of the film. And my, my grandma, who is really devoted, you know, and Kathleen, she loves the story. She saw it with me, and she started crying, like, halfway mm -hmm. to the end. And she just hugged me, and it was a really special moment. We, awesome. I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very happy to see the, the glowing in your face proves that you had a, a wonderful time. You talked about the, the different clothes from 1917 and being a period piece. Were you able to take any of it home? Because uh, that, that stuff was pretty awesome. I don't think I wanted to. I think I took something I, it was two years ago oh i remember i had like it, it wasn't wardrobe or, any, or anything but i remember that i had like short hair up to here and mm -hmm. have longer hair and they put extensions on my hair and i still have them somewhere in my house and, and wardrobe so you know a little remembrance of lucia part of her hair i mean it's special for me you know well, look, I, I'm looking forward to seeing you again in films. I got one more question to give to you real quick. If you want to tell us, what is the moral of the story of Fatima? And then we'll close with that. And I want to thank you for, for um, taking the time here on Nuke the Fridge. Thank you. I think that the most important thing that people should, you know, get from the story is how it, how important it is to have hope and faith in yourself. And in some situations, you know, just keep going and hold on to yourself. And despite what other people think, just fight for yourself and um, have hope in general and be optimistic. Woo. All right. Thank you very much.